What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I got some new news for you. Um, this discussion is concerning uh, the Lucas Matisse versus the Manny Pacquiao fight. You know, that fight is drawing near, <clears throat> and uh, I just want to give you my thoughts about it. Okay, um, Manny Pacquiao is a great fighter, eight division world champion, no, you know, Hall of Famer, legend. Uh, he's done things in the ring that a lot of people didn't even think he could do. Uh, the things that, you know, they even accused him of having steroids and taking, you know, ped use and, you know, stuff like that, which has never been proven, you know. But his skill is undeniable. His power at certain weight classes was undeniable, you know. His tenacity, you know, the speed, the angles, you know, was undeniable, okay? So what can I say about Manny Pacquiao? He deserves all the credit in the world. However, him fighting Lucas Matisse, that would have been great four years ago or before Lucas Matisse um, indeed retired after his loss to Postal, you know, and he didn't get, he didn't continue, you know. I think he had a broken socket or whatnot, and uh, he retired for a while, but then he got his bearings back, and he came back to the sport of boxing. You know, he came back with those Argentinian hammers he has, right? And <clears throat> as much as I like Manny Pacquiao, I roll with Manny Pacquiao many years. Um, but in this time, I'm hoping that Lucas Matisse beats him. The reason why, I'm going to tell you this, is because Lucas Matisse, I think he's 35, I think. Lucas Matisse, you know, he, I don't think he will be along, around long, but I think that if he can take Manny Pacquiao out, I think Manny Pacquiao would have to leave the sport. Because I'm looking for Manny Pacquiao to leave the sport. You know, you die hard, bona fide Manny Pacquiao fans, you die hard ones, the ones that just ride with them. Um, I think you guys should understand that Pacquiao's past his prime. He showed that clearly in the Jeff Horn fight. You have to remember that's why the Terrence Crawford Horn fight was made. Okay, and <clears throat> Terrence Crawford never had that opportunity that Manny Pacquiao had when he fought De La Hoya. You know what I mean? Like De La Hoya had when he fought Chavez. You know, and I think it's. Honestly, I think Manny Pacquiao knew that, and even his coach, even Freddie Roach, you know, he's no longer with Freddie Roach, but his, you know, and Bob Arum, they, no one liked the style of Terrence Crawford because they knew at Terrence's age, he would beat Manny Pacquiao, and then the way he would beat him would be not, not so tasteful, okay? But since he wasn't able to do that, because that would have been his final farewell. You have to understand about old fighters. You have to understand this. Old fighters die hard. Look at Mosley. Look at Jones. Look at Duran. Look at Chavez. Look at Barrera. All these guys fought past their prime. Look at Casamayor. These guys fought past their prime, and then they had someone had to physically beat the will out of them to show them you're not on this level no more. You're past your prime. You need to stick to training, commentating, or other things besides stepping in, in this ring. You know what I mean? Like, that's just what it is. You know, Mosley had to figure that out. So many fighters had to figure that out and wasn't wise enough to shut it down when they supposed to. De La Hoya wasn't, but De La Hoya learned from Pacquiao beating the hell out of him. He beat the brakes off De La Hoya, and I didn't even see that coming because I thought, oh, De La Hoya, De La Hoya. No, De La Hoya didn't have it. He, you know, he, 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 you know, he couldn't, he couldn't. He couldn't hit the gas. He couldn't do it. Manny Pacquiao was all in his face, hitting him with punches. He, he didn't even see, you know? And then credit to Oscar. Oscar does have a good chin. Oscar always had a good chin. He just didn't care to get hit in the face, you know what I mean? But he can take punches when punches are delivered to him, right? So, um, and he's taking them by the best, you know, by the best. Trinidad, Mosley, you know, et cetera. So since Manny Pacquiao never gave an opportunity because he's a legend and legends need, they owe the fighters below them or behind them 
the right to fight for that lineage, okay? To pass that torch. He never done that. He didn't fight the guys that he knew he's supposed to fight. I wouldn't want to see him fight Crawford. I didn't want to see him fight Crawford because I knew what the outcome would be. You could see that. You could read that with your eyes closed. You know, he would probably be competitive for four or five rounds, but after uh, after Terrence Crawford figures him out, mm, no. And I wouldn't want to see that. You know, and in the problem with Manny, he does not know when to stop. He does not know. He's saying stuff like, oh, I want to be remembered as a great fighter. Well, if you don't think you're remembered as a great fighter by now, when the hell do you think you will be remembered as a great fighter? What do you have to prove that makes you convinced that you need to you are that great fighter? You are that great guy. Like, what is it? Is there a problem? Were you really on peds? Like, why do you feel that way? Why do you feel that way in your career right now? Why don't you feel like Jesus ah, is finished? Why don't you feel like that? I don't get it. You know, but he, obviously he does not get it. OK. And I don't get it. And he needs to get it to get it. To get the idea that, hey, you really need to stop, retire, train your sons, train other Filipino fighters, be an example to them. You know, uh, they look up to him. He's he's the, he's the uh, senator, you know. I think he was congressman. Now he's the senator. Dude, work on that in office, you know, but going in that ring, I, it is bad for fighters because it's like they the sport becomes an addiction. You know, so that's the problem with fighters. And if Matisse, I think Matisse might do that, because if Manny Pacquiao gets knocked out, I don't think he'll come back. I hope he doesn't come back. You know what I mean? And then that would be good for Matisse because, you know, Matisse, he's not going to fight for too much longer, you know. But I hope he's getting a good payday for fighting Pacquiao. I don't know what his fight purse is, but I hope it's good. But I hope he does the job, you know, because as much as I hate to see Manny Pacquiao get beat, that's not what I'm saying, or get hurt or get injured. I don't want to see anybody get hurt or injured. But... You have to teach fighters that and show fighters like Austin Trout. He's another one. Right. Show these aging fighters that, hey, it's time to hang up the gloves. You know what I mean? So if they can get that through their head, they will be fine. If they can't, they're going to take a lot of punishment after their prime. And sadly, they can't defend themselves like they used to, you know. You can't be an older guy picking fights with younger guys and expect you to beat them based on what you've already done in the past. This guy's a fresh new guy right in front of you. He's not the guy that you, he's not. He, you're not the guy that you used to be. OK, so, yeah, for that reason, Manny Pacquiao, I, I hope that something happens in this situation or he beats Matisse. OK, let, let, let's change the scenario. He beats Matisse and say, OK, I'm finished with that. But but, you know, but who is really Matisse to satisfy that craving that he has? Again, I think I feel it's an addiction at this point. And, and he ain't the only one. So I'm not just bashing Manny Pacquiao, but I am talking about Manny Pacquiao. You know, I think it's an addiction that these fighters have when they go in the ring and he, you know, he's infected with it. He's infected with his addiction to go in that ring to prove something. You know, you got five kids, you're rich, you got a country behind you. What else do you need? You got eight division world champions, you got all those belts, you had all those belts, you did all that. What else do you need to do? But, you know, I don't know. I think someone should ask him. But anyway, for that reason, I hope he decides and gets that craving that he desires to get out of the ring. But you guys tell me what you think about this. Um, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.